Sixth grade, module two, lesson three, problem set. For the following exercises, rewrite the division expression in unit form, then find the quotient, draw a model to support your answer. So number one, four fifths divided by one fifth. So in unit form, that's saying four fifths divided by one fifth. And if we wanted to draw a model, I'll draw it down here. We have Four fifths. We're going to separate it into groups of one fifth. So there's one one fifth, two one fifth, three one fifth, and four one fifth. So this is equal to four. Number two, eight ninths divided by four ninths. So we write that in unit form. It would be eight ninths divided by four ninths. If we wanted to just solve that, 8 ninths divided by 4 ninths, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we should get 2 with our model. So I'm going to separate this into ninths. And shade in 8 ninths. Now I'm going to separate it into groups of 4 ninths. So there's one group of four ninths and two groups of four ninths, and we don't have any leftovers, so it's just two. Three, 15 fourths divided by three fourths. So 15 fourths divided by three fourths. And since they, since they have the same fourths, we can just divide. 15 divided by three is equal to five. So we should get five if we work it out in our model. So 15 fourths, I'm gonna actually make that into a mixed number because it's an improper fraction. So 15 fourths, four goes into 15 three times. It's equal to three, three times four is 12. So we would have three left over. So this is equal to three and three fourths. So I'm gonna make three and three fourths. separate them into fourths. Now I can shade all of that one, all of that one. So there's our three, and then three fourths. And now I need to separate them into groups of three fourths. So there's one. I'm going to use this leftover one and combine it with two of the next ones. So there's another group of three fourths. Now I'm going to Combine those, so there's another group. There's another one, and another one. So it works out to be five. And the last one, 13 fifths divided by four fifths. So that we can't equally divide 13 divided by four, so I'm just gonna draw a model to help me figure this out. So 13 fifths would be equal to two and three fifths. I'm gonna draw two and three fifths. So we have a whole, so there's one, two and three fifths divided by four fifths. So there's one group of four fifths. There's one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna combine those. So there's one group, two groups. Here's two that I'm going to combine with those two. So there's three and now I have one left over and I was circling four at a time. So I have one out of four. So I get three and one fourth as my answer. Rewrite the expression in unit form and find the quotient. Number five, 10 thirds divided by two thirds. We have 10 thirds divided by two thirds. So 10 divided by two would be equal to five. 
Number six, eight fifths divided by three fifths. So we have eight divided by three, or remember in fifth grade we learned that a division problem is a fraction. So we get eight thirds, and if I just make that into a mixed number, three goes into eight twice, that's six, so we have 8 minus 6, 2 left over out of 3. So this is equal to 2 and 2 thirds. And then we have 12 sevenths divided by 12 sevenths. So we basically have 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. Represent the division expression using unit form. Find the quotient, show all necessary work. Number eight, a runner is seven eighths miles from the finish line. If she can travel three eighths miles per minute, how long will it take her to finish the race? So she's seven eighths mile from the finish line and she can travel three eighths miles per minute. We wanna know how long. So we're doing seven eighths miles divided by three eighths. So seven eighths divided by three eighths we get seven divided by three, or seven thirds, which would be equal to, if as a mixed number, three goes into seven twice with one out of three left over. So we get two and one third. And if we put a unit on that, it would be two and one third minutes to finish the race. If you wanna draw a picture, if drawing a picture helps you, it makes more sense than this, go ahead and draw a tape diagram. Number nine, an electrician has four and one-tenth meters of, wi of wire. How many strips seven-tenths meters long can he cut? So first, this is in decimal form, not fraction form. So I'm gonna make this four and one-tenth. How many strips seven-tenths meters long can he cut? So we can either do it the um, way we did above, or we can draw a tape diagram. So for this one, I'll draw a tape diagram because we have four and one tenth. So I'm gonna draw four and one tenth. And separate them all into tenths. Okay, so we have all of those. I'm not gonna shade them in because that's gonna make it harder for me to separate them. But now I'm gonna separate them into seven tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna grab one from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six left because I only had four and one tenth, and I was circling in groups of seven. So I have six left out of seven. And I also have one, two, three, four, five holes. So I get five and six sevenths. Strips is how many that he can cut. But we probably just want to leave that as five strips because you can't really cut six sevenths of a strip. So he could cut a total of five strips. How much wire will he have left over? Well, he'll have six sevenths left over, six of the seven pieces, but that's really six tenths because he has, let's count them. So he has this one, he has 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Those six left over, but the six are out of 10. So six tenths left over. Number 10, Saeed bought 21 and a half pounds of ground beef. He used a fourth of the beef to make tacos and two thirds of the remainder to make quarter pound burgers. How many burgers did he make? So I think this is easiest to see if we draw a tape diagram to understand how much he had. So he used a fourth of the beef, I'm gonna separate it into fourths. So a fourth of the beef to make tacos. So this would be tacos and two thirds of the remainder. So if we look at the remainder here, this is the remainder and he uses two thirds. Well, it's already broken into three pieces. So he used two thirds, this part, to make burgers. And that would be two fourths of the whole, two out of four pieces or one half. So he used, or he used half of the beef for burgers. We want to find half of 21 and a half. And there's many ways to do that. So you could multiply um, one half times 21 and a half. I'm just gonna do that. So one half times, I need to make this into an improper fraction. So 21 times two is 42 plus one is 43 halves. And I'll get 43 fourths, and I just need to make that back into an, a mixed number. So 4 goes into 43 10 times, because that's 40, and I'll have 3 left over. So we get 10 and 3 fourths pounds. So he made quarter pound burgers, so 1 fourth pound burgers. So we need to take that 10 and 3 fourths and split it equally among quarter pound burgers. So what we have is I'm going to make this into back into a mixed number, which I don't need to because I already know it's 43 fourths. So we have 43 fourths divided by 1 fourth. So that would be equal to 43 divided by 1 would be 43 burgers. Number 11, a baker bought some flowers flour. He used two-fifths of the flour to make bread and the rest to make batches of muffins. If he used 16 pounds of flour to ma making bread and two-thirds pound for the batch of muffins, how many batches of muffins did he make? Okay, I'm going to draw a tape diagram. So he used two-fifths to make bread. So this is for bread and use the rest to make muffins. So then the rest is muffins. If he used 16 pounds of flour making bread, so this part is 16 pounds, which means that each piece right here, we have 16 pounds split equally in these two parts. So 16 divided by two, each one would be eight pounds. So these are also eight pounds. So he used 16 pounds of flour baking bread and two thirds pound for each batch of muffins. How many batches of muffins did he make? So now we wanna know how many batches of muffins he made. So the muffins added up to be 24 pounds because we have the eight times three and he used two thirds pound for each batch. So we need to take 24 and divide it into two thirds. So the easiest way I think to do this is to turn this 24 into thirds. So 24, I can make it into thirds by doing 24 times three, which is 72. So I get 72 thirds divided by two thirds, which would end up being 72 divided by two is equal to 36. And sorry, three divided by three is not three, it is one. So we get 36 batches of muffins.